used to this. And a uh, little self-conscious when I read a scripture about the very hairs of your hitter number. Um, <laughs> God has an easy time with me. <laughs> he doesn't have to count very high. Some, uh, let's see, some of these people have full heads. Uh, you know, God does care about our details. And that is um, where, as a Heavenly Father, He watches over us so carefully and He treasures us so much. That is something that is so exciting when we think about it because maybe some of us had dads who were so involved in their work and didn't spend time uh, with our details. Maybe they didn't know what grade we were in school. Maybe they didn't know we were in school. <laughs> But some were distant, some were close and nurturing, uh, but often dads, because of the, they get involved in their, their things, they, they don't spend as much time as they would like to with their kids. But our Heavenly Father cares so much about us that He watches over us so much that He knows every detail about us. And he loves us anyway, right? It almost sounds like a dad kind of thing to say, well, you're worth more than the sparrows. I like the translation sparrows because uh, I like canaries too because canaries sounds a little more jazzed up. But when I used to read that about the sparrows, um, I used to shoot sparrows with you. Know? I felt a little guilty. You know, that God knows about it. I just shot one and there it goes. It wasn't a very good shot, so it didn't happen as often. But I, if you notice on the bulletin, and by the way, on some of them, the bulletin uh, number is wrong. It should be the 21st. If you got the 21st, you're lucky. I don't have any prizes for you. You get a cookie and coffee at the end. <laughs> but um, on some of them, I didn't get the 14th change. So if you've got, if you're one of those people that has to pay attention to detail, um, They've already noticed it. <laughs> yeah, you've already noticed it, and you can, you can mark it out and change it with a pen. But anyway, God knows about our details of our life. He knows, and He cares about us, and He absolutely loves us. And He cares about how we, um, we conduct ourselves. Um, it's real easy when we are forgiven of everything, to say, well, it doesn't matter, then I can do what I want. As we read in Romans, um, because of God's abundance grace, abundant grace, there are people saying, well, then I don't have to change anything. God's going to forgive me anyway. Uh, there's even people who will plan on sinning because they think, well, God's going to forgive me. So why? You know, and, and I'll feel more of His grace if I feel more of the forgiveness. Maybe when you were a kid or became a Christian and start coming to church, you hear these stories about these awful sinners that found Christ and then they were so joyful because they found Jesus and they were happy. And, um, you know, and I always thought those were good stories. I didn't come from a Christian background. But then I heard some people that came from nice homes where everybody loved them and they were, uh, they had uh, people who helped them with their homework and, you know, came from good Christian homes where they were raised in that way, and they said, you know, I kind of envy those people because I want to feel that forgiveness. I really didn't do any of those things. I didn't live that wild, crazy life and end up in jail and then feel the joy of forgiveness. And I always felt like to tell them, and I, I don't know if I ever told them or not, I probably did because I can't keep my mouth shut very well. When someone hits their head against the wall, it feels good when you stop, but you don't hit your head against the wall so you can get the relief from not being beat all the time. So don't beat your head against the wall by sinning, and then, oh, that feels so good to stop having my head knocked around. But God cares about our every, our every action. He cares about what we do. And it's real easy also if we're not being watched or, or not inquiry, to not do some things that we should do. For instance, all of us, we're coming up with the 4th of July, all of us love our country, don't we? We all love our country. I hope we do. And I, I, it shouldn't take over our faith, but um, we love our country. But 
when it comes to paying income tax. Would we pay our income tax because we love our country if nobody was going to follow up? I'm not sure that I would if, you know, I feel a little short of money and income tax was due. I, I know they need it. Um, even with Donald Trump in office, with all his money, they need money. But yet, if I didn't have the fear of the IRS, I probably would be a little negligent. When you're going down the highway and you're in a hurry, would you not go 100 miles an hour when you're in a hurry if it wasn't for the highway patrolman that you think might be lurking somewhere? I see some people that pass me that must not worry about it because they're cruising along pretty good. But sometimes we need to be reminded that we're being watched, that there is a consequence for sin, even if we don't see it immediately. That God is, uh, loves us and he wants the best for us, and the best for us isn't to keep sinning. So he said, Jesus was telling the people, don't worry about the people who you see that may get after you, may make fun of you because you're a Christian, may, uh, may stop being your friend because you become a Christian, because you start following me. But be afraid of, um, of God because he's the one that holds your soul in his hands. And I don't think this fear is like the trembling, I can't go to sleep at night fear. It's like that respect. And when we used to teach school, there are some of the kids that seemed like they didn't respect a thing, did they? What, did, what happened? They were just impossible to control because they didn't respect any rule. I believe, and I don't know if this is just my perception or true, but when I was a kid, dads had a little bit of authority that wouldn't, my dad would just have to say the word listen. Did you ever hear your dad say that? Now listen, I did. <laughs> and I trembled a little bit because I was a little concerned about what he thought about my behavior. And unless we look at God in that way, we don't have the full picture of who God is, our Father. If the kids come to school and they've never had to listen to authority, they've never heard that word listen and been made to listen. When they get into school, it's the teacher's job to try to do that with the other 15 kids that maybe haven't heard that, or 20 or 30. And that's a tough job. But also it makes our society work if people learn to listen to those who have the authority to tell us what to do. So in this, um, Jesus is telling, you know, he's been telling us God loves you, God cares about you, God absolutely thinks you're the best kid in the world, but you need to listen. I brought this camera. And one of these days, if I get this rigged up right, we'll be able to, to do the service online. It's going to be a little bit of work because these are huge files that come up here and I have to fiddle with this. And I don't want to make it sound like God is a big brother, a big government that watches over everything, but be aware that God from heaven is paying attention to what we're doing. That his, our actions may not receive immediate response. That person who passes me at 105 miles an hour while I'm trying to watch the speed limit, I don't often see him get caught with a high patrol. Occasionally you do. One time I was coming home from Salina and there was a bunch of hunters that had, I mean, they had the military gear, they had the dog boxes, they had everything. They looked like they were going off to war, but you could see that they were going off to hunt something. And I thought, man, they, they went flying past me. My little pickup thing just about shook. And I thought, man, something needs to be done about those guys. And sure enough, an airplane was flying over. And there was a highway patrolman uh, pulling these guys over one by one. And one of them went on, and 
he, he could see the look in his eyes and it stopped the guy and he goes like this and had him get the children back back up. So occasionally there are consequences on earth, but not always. There are people who do things that tear apart our society that, that nothing seems to happen. But one of the things that can be a relief for us is God sees that too. He says, don't be so concerned about what your government, about what your friends think. But live in such a way that you love people, that you love me, but you're also aware that you are my representative here on earth. And that um, you should respect what I think about your actions. God has an exciting job for us to do. He wants us to change the world, and sometimes it doesn't go as fast as we would like. It goes at a snail's pace. But be aware and have faith that he is changing souls. Because to really change people on the inside takes long, a long time. To change behavior, sometimes you can do that in a second. But to change the inside takes a long time. To really do the overhaul work. I suppose those guys that got pulled over changed their behavior for the next 50 miles. They probably watched the speed limit pretty closely. They didn't want to get a second ticket on the same day. But as soon as that fear wore off, I imagine they were speeding like that again. It takes a while. It takes a shock sometimes for us to change the way we become. We're not just learning changing our behavior, but we're becoming the sons and daughters of God. So on Father's Day, we're reminded that God is our Father. He has authority over us, that we listen to Him, and that He has an exciting career for us as a disciple of His Son, Jesus Christ. So let's be aware that He, he loves us, and He wants us to do great things for His kingdom, but He also wants us to represent Him well. As we are the son of God and the daughter of God and the son of a, and we're the, uh, we have a, a king for a brother who is also our Lord. So let's joyfully serve the Lord who loves us and has a tremendous task for us and will reward our life. Thank you.